Flight 6 is just around the corner. While we wait for SpaceX to complete their preparations, let's dive into the technical aspects of Starship. Starship is colossal. The current version is already the largest rocket system ever built in history, but Elon Musk has declared that it will get even bigger. He plans to create a generation even larger than the V3 we know. So, just how big does Musk intend to build Starship? Why does Starship need to be so massive? And what are the engineering marvels behind it? Let's find out everything in today's episode. Before we begin, don't forget to hit subscribe so you won't miss any space news and technical analyses. Starship is quickly becoming one of humanity's boldest engineering feats. The current Block 1 version under testing stands at a towering 121 meters, but that's just the start. The upcoming V3 is expected to reach an impressive 150 meters, with most of this extra height added to the upper stage of the launch system. Majestic, right? Who doesn't love something grand and fiery? But behind all this, there's physics. Let's imagine a scenario. If we start from a standstill and aim to reach 11.2 kilometers per second, Earth's escape velocity, with a constant kilometers per second rate and an exhaust velocity of 3,436 meters per second, we'd need 96% of the launch mass to be fuel. This is the direct result of the logarithmic relationship between fuel mass and delta V, the critical factor that defines a rocket's ability to change velocity. So, that's why rockets are long, heavy, and dominated by fuel tanks. Now look at the crux of Elon Musk's ambition with Starship Phi 3, achieving a payload capacity of at least 200 tons. It sounds simple, but the implications are huge. Compared to V2, the payload increases by about 100 tons, but the fuel requirement jumps from 1,500 to 2,300 tons, an additional 800 tons of fuel. I believe this fuel number reflects improvements in SpaceX's engine efficiency. Without these advances, the extra fuel required might easily reach 1,000 tons. This is a prime example of the tyranny of the rocket equation. The upper stage is considerably taller because it's the payload carrying stage, and Delta V becomes absolutely critical here. This stage has to carry payloads to their destinations, whether it's geostationary orbit or even farther into space, which is why increasing the fuel mass for the second stage is essential. So Starship's noticeable height increase in V3 is not because Musk has a penchant for big things, but primarily because physics demands it. Every extra pound of payload requires exponentially more fuel, directly influencing the rocket's size. For this reason, rocket engineers are always looking to reduce the rocket's dry mass as much as possible. But it doesn't stop there. The real fun starts now. Imagine you're building a high-rise building. When you add more floors, you don't just need more building material. You also need to strengthen the foundation. It's the same with rockets. When we want to send more payload into orbit, we have to add hundreds of tons of fuel and expand the size of the fuel tanks. This inevitably increases the overall mass of the rocket, which then requires even greater thrust to lift off. This is where SpaceX truly shines in engine technology. They optimize the specific impulse, ISP, and increase thrust per engine. And as the engine performance improves, they can afford to make the rocket taller. We've seen Starship grow with each new version, but rockets can't keep getting taller indefinitely. For a cylindrical rocket, the most common design, maximum height is determined by two critical factors. The number of engines you can fit at the base and the efficiency of each of those engines. And both of these factors have limits. The base area of the booster stage dictates the maximum number of engines that can be installed. In modern rocket design, engineers work hard to make full use of this area. They aim to cover the rocket's base with engines, creating an optimal engine matrix, much like how SpaceX configured the Raptor engines on Starship. In fact, I made a video on how they recently added two more Raptors to the booster in a smart, space-efficient arrangement. You see, everything is designed with purpose, each decision connecting to the next. Check out that video on my channel if you're interested. Back to rocket size. Since the base area is limited, SpaceX can only add two more engines, no more. But as I mentioned, Starship could get even bigger than the V3 configuration we've seen. So how? Increasing the rocket's diameter. This is an idea SpaceX has been considering for the past five years. A Starship with an 18-meter diameter, a vision that has never faded. An 18-meter diameter would make Starship the widest rocket ever built. To put that into perspective, 18 meters is the exact height of Blue Origin's entire New Shepard rocket. Yes, you heard right. With an 18-meter wide Starship, in theory, you could help Blue Origin reach orbit by fitting the entire New Shepard horizontally in its payload bay and launching it. Expanding the diameter is both feasible and logical, its basic spatial geometry. The volume of a cylinder, which is the fundamental shape of a rocket fuel tank, scales proportionally with height, but increases with the square of the radius. This means that when you increase the diameter, the volume grows much faster than it would with added height alone. Moreover, the tank volume increases faster than its surface area. 
This means you can store more fuel without needing a proportional increase in the mass of the tank walls. It's a win-win for efficiency. An 18-meter diameter opens up entirely new possibilities. SpaceX could boost every metric. Rocket height, engine count, fuel capacity, payload capability, everything. Their ambition for an 18-meter Starship is definitely an aggressive move, and it makes total sense. After all, Starship needs to carry heavy industrial machinery and equipment as SpaceX aims to recreate Earth's industrial system on Mars, along with habitat modules for pioneering crews. A bigger, more powerful Starship also means lower transportation costs per ton. But as with any bold move in tech history, the challenges here are enormous. Expanding the diameter to 18 meters isn't as simple as redrawing the blueprint with bigger numbers. It affects the entire system, from fuel tank pressure and wall thickness to the rocket's overall height. The technical effort required to tackle these engineering factors is huge. If you're interested in learning more about these specifics, drop a yes in the comments below. However, the first obvious challenge lies in infrastructure and logistics. Imagine it. All infrastructure built for the 9-meter version now needs to double in scale. Could an 18-meter rocket even fit through the factory doors? Number everything has to get bigger. The launch tower must be larger, taller, and more robust. The fuel tank farm will need a massive expansion. And if you've ever seen how they move the 9-meter Starship version, it barely fits across the road width. So, what about a rocket that's twice as wide? The answer is, they'll have to shift to water transport, using super-heavy haulage, the true giants of the logistics world. Developing an 18-meter Starship means SpaceX will need to build an entirely new ecosystem, a complex network of infrastructure and supporting technology centered around this massive rocket. And perhaps one of the most crucial pieces of this ecosystem will be the fuel supply system. For a rocket of such immense scale, relying on external fuel suppliers would be a major risk. That's why I believe SpaceX will eventually establish its own rocket fuel production facilities. By controlling the entire supply chain, they can optimize costs and quality in ways that outside contractors simply can't match. And here's a challenge I find particularly fascinating, the engine issue. Let's be realistic. Producing and operating around 100 Raptor engines for a single rocket isn't exactly ideal. I'd bet that if Starship reaches an 18-meter diameter, we'll see an entirely new engine line designed specifically for this scale. Elon Musk has already glimpsed the path to an 18-meter Starship, yet we still don't know what cards he's holding. And that's the thrill of SpaceX. They always have surprises up their sleeve, quiet technological breakthroughs waiting for the right moment to emerge. Exciting, right? Hopefully this video will give everyone a broader view of how the rocket equation and physics shape the design of launch vehicles. Every technical decision is a complex balancing act across multiple factors, mass and size, thrust and efficiency, cost and reliability. Success isn't about optimizing just one factor. It's about finding the perfect balance between all these often conflicting requirements.